Hello there, and welcome to Five Facts. Today, I, your fuzzy and blue scientist Grover, am going to conduct an experiment. Yes, an experiment, which, if successful, will bring back the dinosaurs from extinction. Now, first, I take a piece of tape. Oh, hey, oh. Grover. Oh, hey, Annie. Oh, do you mind taking a, uh, this roll of duct tape? Uh, and Matt, could you take a, one of these pipe cleaners, Grover, please? I like the dinosaur experiment, but I'm a little worried about it. Yeah, our studio is really small. Then we will just start with a small dinosaur. Why don't we do some experiments that are a little bit simpler? Simpler? No. And no, they're fun. No, no, I wanted my own pet dinosaur. We can do all these experiments with stuff you can find around the house. No, 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 no. And there's glitter. Glitter? I'm so. For this experiment, you'll need a pitcher of water and two oranges, one peeled and one unpeeled. We're gonna dunk the oranges in the water. Which one do you think will sink and which one will float? Oh, well, um, if I had to choose which would sink, I would say the heavier one, which would be the one with the peel. Let's start with the peeled orange. Hmm, okay. Ready? Yes. Oh, good thing I'm wearing these goggles. Ha 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 ha. Would you look at that? It is sinking. Now let's test the unpeeled. Okay. It is floating. It is floating. Look at that, Danny. It is floating. How long do we have to wait until it sinks? Well, it'll never sink. What? Never? But, 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 but why? There's air in the peel that makes the orange buoyant. So the peel is sort of like the orange's life jacket, huh? Exactly. Next time I go swimming, all I have to do is wear an orange peel? I, I don't mm. think that's, no. Here's a really neat science experiment to impress your friends back at Sesame Street. Oh, I love to impress my friends back on Sesame Street with neat tricks. <laughs> All you need is a pitcher of water, some pepper, some dish soap, and a dish to put it in. We're going to make the pepper scatter really fast. Let's start with pouring the water into the dish. And now we pour the pepper. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. The pepper made me snatchu! Snatchu! <laughs> and now you just put dish soap on your finger. And three, two, one. Wow! I haven't seen anyone run away from soap that fast since Big Bird tried to give Oscar the Grouch a bath! <laughs> How does this trick work? It's all about surface tension. Surface tension is the force that allows water to bulge on the top. The dish soap lowers the surface tension, which causes the water to spread out. The pepper then moves to the edges. That is amazing. <laughs> For this experiment, we need to mix cornstarch and water. Guys, are you sure this needs to be here? Yeah, this is a subwoofer. We need it for the experiment. All right. This stuff is called oobleck. It's a non-Newtonian fluid that has properties of liquids and solids. If you touch it, it feels like a liquid, but if you pinch it, it feels solid. Cover your subwoofer with plastic wrap, and then you're going to pour in your cornstarch and water mixture. I want to see. I want to see. Matt. Matt, could you? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Here we go. Ah, ah. Sound waves have the same effect. The pressure of the sound waves on the oobleck gives it solid properties. Now we're going to play a 40 hertz frequency. <laughs> Look at the dance! What is that, 40 hertz? Hey, hey, will you kids turn down your music? I'm trying to read the... <gasps> is that oobleck? It is, Bert. I thought oobleck is my favorite non-Newtonian fluid. We're having an oobleck dance party. You want to join? What? Yes. Hey, Annie, is this dubstep? I think so. Did you know you can make a rainbow right in your own kitchen? No, a rainbow? Oh, I love rainbows. They're so cute and adorable. <laughs> All you need is water, corn syrup, olive oil, blue dish soap. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, are you sure you're not bringing back the dinosaurs? Because this looks an awful lot like my experiment. No, it's definitely a rainbow experiment. Let's get started. Add food coloring to all your materials. Red to the corn syrup, green to the water, olive oil's already yellow, 
and the dish soap is already blue. Pour your rainbow in this order. Red, blue, green, and yellow. The reason it works is because each liquid has a different density and certain liquids refuse to mix. Thus we get all the layers of the rainbow. There you have it. Ta-da! Ta-da! It's done! Grover, why is yours brown? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. You see, I just made myself some chocolate milk. <laughs> In this experiment, we're gonna make a sparkly volcano. Is this the one with the glitter? Is this the one with the glitter? I've been waiting all along for the glitter. Is this the glitter? It's the one with the glitter. Oh, yes, yes, the glitter. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, okay, it's just, we'll, the let's just, oh, yes, we'll yes, focus right. on the experiment. Okay. You'll need baking soda and a vase. Pour that baking soda right in there. Then you wanna add some glitter, some red food coloring. Get a lot of drops in there okay. to make it nice That's and enough. red. Okay, go, go for the glitter. Now. Okay. And then finally, Get that glitter! Dump it all in. And then we pour the vinegar into the vase. Oh, wait! Perhaps we should wear some eye protection first? Where are they? Where did they put my goggles? Oh. Grover, you're already wearing them. Ah, yeah, so I am. <laughs> all right, here we go. It's a chemical reaction. When the baking soda and vinegar meet, energy is released. The baking soda is a base, and the vinegar is an acid. Wait, that, what is the glitter then? It's just for fun. Why are we not using glitter for all these experiments then? Thanks for watching Five Facts, and a huge thanks to Grover and Bert from Aww. Sesame Street. You are welcome, man. If you want to find more science experiments that families can do at home, check out sesamestreet.org slash STEM. Grover, where are you going? To find a bigger room. A bigger room? The, the dinosaurs. dinosaurs.